The Oakland County Sheriff says a grandmother killed her own son and killed her baby granddaughter. Both are tragic crimes that defy reason. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was the only reporter in court. And tonight we have learned new details about how the grandmother's mental health may have played a part. She's a grandma accused of slitting her disabled son's neck as he slept and beating her granddaughter to death. For now, she will not face trial. The ultimate recommendation at this time by Dr. Shields is that uh, Sylvia Majuska, the defendant, is currently incompetent. Prosecutors, defense attorneys, and Judge Lisa Asadorian accepted a psychiatrist's findings. This woman, Sylvia Majuska, is insane and unable to help her attorney defend her. Her attorney says he's not at all surprised. A critical part of what goes on in criminal defense is having an ability to communicate with your client. Your client providing information and understanding what's going on. The Oakland County Sheriff says the 65-year-old woman used a box cutter to cut her 29-year-old son Darren Gailey's neck as he slept before killing his seven-month-old daughter, Charlie Lillian, in November last year here at her Oxford home. Investigators say she then tried to kill herself. Oakland County Sheriff's investigators say Sylvia wrote letters found in the home. They said she felt her son and his baby were both an emotional and financial burden. I'm asking people to reserve judgment, to understand that obviously something very seriously is wrong with this, this lady, um, that grandmothers, mothers don't behave as she's alleged to behave. Majuska will now undergo mental health treatment, the goal to make her competent to stand trial for the murders of her son and granddaughter. Over the next 15 months, every 90 days or so, the court is going to check in on her progress to see if she is competent to stand trial. If she is, a trial will be scheduled. If not, she will remain in a state mental health facility. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.